Hi guys, this is me, friends. Hi guys, this is me, friends. And Hi guys, this is me, friends, and welcome to my first ever video log or vlog. So tonight I will do a review or a reaction of the most sought after movie this year, and that is Avengers Endgame. Warning though, if you're here because you want some spoilers, then you are in the wrong video. I will not be giving off any spoilers, major or minor spoilers. I'll be talking about my own reaction or opinion or review on the movie, some commentaries perhaps, and just the general theme and feel of the movie. I am a Marvel fan, but I am not a Marvel Marvel fan, if, if you know what I mean. And I mean, I don't necessarily know the specifics of each superhero's lives. I've never read the comics. I'm just a Marvel fan. Not a Marvel Marvel fan, if you know what I mean. So Avengers in Endgame is a fourth and final, I think, installment of the whole Avengers saga, starting off with The Avengers, I think, in 2012 then followed by um, Avengers Age of Ultron and last year Avengers Infinity War and now Avengers Endgame. Enough said, now let's get into my own review or reaction or opinion on the movie itself. Actually the movie started off in a deep sad tone and I, I don't think it's a bad thing because the movie is a follow-up on Avengers Infinity War and Infinity, in Infinity War because of Thanos because of a snap half of all living creatures died including some of our favorite Avenger superheroes honestly when I heard that the movie would last for three hours I felt a little bit worried that some of the scenes will be a little bit more dragging but it did not happen really no second or minute or any moment in the show was boring nothing was boring and because um, it lasted for three hours or 180 minutes it gave us a lot of time or it gave the directors and the writers a lot of time to develop different story arcs for our beloved superheroes especially those the ones who remained after Avengers Infinity War and I like the fact that they gave some screen time valuable and significant screen time to further explore certain story arcs for for certain superheroes and it definitely brought us closer to them and definitely brought us closer to their stories to their sentiments and why they act that way or on why they feel this way because definitely not everyone in the movie feels the same way I mean they're all different persons therefore they have different feelings and they have different stories and I think it was very very good that they were able to showcase those different story arcs for different for the different characters for us to understand them even more and for us to um, empathize with how they were feeling or, or why they were feeling that way. Unlike Avengers Infinity War, there's not a lot of action in the first part of the film because um, I think that the first half of the film was mainly dedicated to explore the different emotions of the characters 
especially those who were left behind after Avengers Infinity War. And then the last part, we are rewarded with some flawless action scenes. The good thing or the best part of about Avengers Endgame was that it was full of heart. It was full of soul. It was full of emotion. It felt like I was one of them. That I lost. I am an Avenger, and I lost my co-Avengers. I felt like I was in a movie. I felt like what Captain America was feeling, or I felt what Iron Man was feeling. I felt like I felt what Thor was feeling. It got me all messed up because I was feeling. A lot of different emotions at the same time because of the different characters and I don't think it was a bad thing. Action, they've got it all covered. I mean the action scenes were all flawless. They were, they gave each of the characters their own time to shine, their own time to um, show what they've got. We have Captain Marvel, Captain America, Thor, um, of course Iron Man and the rest of the other superheroes who remained after Avengers Infinity War. They were all given you know, some time or moments in order to shine, in order to show their, their action moves or their superhero powers. Oh, and one last thing before I forget. I love the fact that there were um, some feminist movement references in the movie and some black movement references in the movie. Um, those are the things that you need to look out for. And I love how um, they were somehow highlighted in the film. Before I forget, I stayed for the entire um, 3 hours and 10 minutes and there were no post-credits. No post-credit scene, so... I think that is not, this is not a spoiler, I think this is something that you will thank me for because I actually waited until the last credits. It, it, I think it's my first time to watch um, the entire credits of a particular movie because I was waiting for a post credit scene but there were no post credit scenes and I think it was the thing that there were no post credit scenes because Avengers Endgame was the end game. It was the end of an epic saga. So I think that explains why there was no um, post credit scenes whatsoever. So just a warning, um, if you don't want to kind of waste your time seeing a lot of different names whom we do not know. Um, just leave after the movie. There are no post credits. Scenes. So overall, the movie was great. The story was great. The execution of the cast was just spot on. The direction and the cinematography were just great, 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 great. I mean, I could not have asked for a greater, grander, and more wonderful ending for an epic saga that could define an entire era, an era of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I mean, you should all go watch right now. Don't wait for another day. Watch Avengers Endgame right now. It's so good. It's worth your time, your effort, and your money. Definitely recommending everyone to watch Avengers Endgame. But before I end, I'm going to give you a few helpful tips before you actually go out to the cinemas and...
yes if you don't feel like peeing just pee just release all of those liquid so that you won't be feeling the need to pee when the movie starts because then you would be missing a lot of things and you don't want that to happen oh and by the way one last pro tip if you have enough time you should binge watch um, all the 21 or 20 movies mcu movies or if you don't have enough time just watch the avengers age of ultron avengers infinity war before going on to the cinemas in order to watch avengers endgame because there are a lot of references in endgame um, but if you don't have enough time you can just watch infinity war last but not least after watching the movie do not ever ever do not do not do not do not ever share any spoiler please let us not spoil the end game if you want to react or if you want to give your own review or comment then by all means do so without giving any spoiler because not a lot of people actually watched the film at the same time as you did so you don't want to spoil the movie for them so do not give a spoiler it is a crime well not exactly a crime but inside the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it is a crime punishable by the Christian perpetua to death. And you don't want that. You don't want that. Well, that's the end of my review. I don't know if you actually got something from it. Um, but if you're still here, if you're still watching, thank you so much for finishing the video. And please, please. And before I end, I just would like to thank... Um, Marvel, the directors, the Russo brothers, and of course the entire cast and crew behind Avengers, all the Avengers movies, and especially this one, Avengers Endgame, for bringing an epic saga that is Avengers to life. It was a joy um, experiencing and witnessing the journey of each of the characters, of each of the superheroes whom we loved, and it was a beautiful story. It was a great, great ending to an epic saga that could go down for me as one of the best, if not the best, movie franchises that the world has ever seen. So thank you, Marvel. Thank you to all the directors. Thank you to the cast and crew. And thank you to you. Yes, you. To all Marvel fans who have pushed everyone, the cast, the crew, the directors, even the producers, the big bosses from Marvels, to you who pushed them to give us this kind of entertainment, this kind of experience. So without you fans pushing for the producers and the cast and crew of the film to give us better movies, then we wouldn't have witnessed such a great, great, great movie or movies inside the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So we've come to the end of my first ever video log and thank you guys for watching. If it's not such a big thing, please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. And you may follow me on my social media accounts on my Twitter, that is at the Deputy Prime and on Instagram, that is at Super Popoy. So thank you guys for tuning in and tune in again next time for some amazing content. This is friends. Bye-bye. Sayonara.